Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're talking about Destiny 2, now specifically we're going to be looking at these 7 Seraph weapons. Now unfortunately I thought I had recorded this video, but apparently my my audio, audacity fucked up or something. So I have to remake this video, which is fun considering this video was like 20 minutes long. I'm going to cut some of the chatter that I did have while I was doing this video. So first and foremost, let's look at the first weapon in the list, the 7 Seraph Carbine. Now, unfortunately I am not the biggest fan of this weapon. I think it's fine, I think it's okay, but I don't think it's going to change any of your current uh, auto rifles, especially on the primary slot where breakneck is, so unfortunately I am not the biggest fan of it, but this is not a uh, for me video, this is more of a what you guys think, and then I just throw in spices of my opinion, so let me know what you guys think, am I wrong? Tell me in the comments. So let's look at the perk rotation. Fourth time's a charm, auto loading holster, slide shot, threat detector, hip fire grip, and underdog for the first row. For the second row, it's gonna be Vorpal Weapon, Swashbuckler, Rampage, Elemental Capacitor, Range Finder, and Moving Target. So, if you ask me, the PVE God Roll would be probably, honestly, fourth time's a charm with Vorpal Weapon. Uh, the fact that you can not only kill I think it's majors and bosses faster but you can also do it while retaining a lot of your ammo with four times the charm is dope as hell i just to be quite honest i'm not a big fan of auto rifles so that's probably why my opinion of this weapon is kind of jaded because just like auto rifles are really just water uh, hit or miss for me there's a few that i like and then there's a few that i'm just like i'm never using this this one being probably one of them unless i ended up getting fourth times the charm and vorpal weapon I think that role specifically I would keep and just be like oh, one day I'll use it I know one day I'll use it I always kind of like leave weapons in my vault just for one day like to use it and then like maybe that one day I'll be like hey this is pretty dope and then I'll use it that's what happened with a lot of weapons that I use at the moment and this pot weapon will probably be no different for PvP you could probably go with like slide shot and then maybe swashbuckler or rampage with rampage probably being the better one and that's pretty much it. Threat detector I don't think would be viable for this because it's an auto rifle. You're probably never going to be dick close to someone. So slide shot and rampage or swashbuckler for the first row. And fourth time's the charm and vorpal for PvE. There could be something to be said for swashbuckler and threat detector. Because obviously you're going to have to be close to proc swashbuckler times five with a melee kill. And then from there you just you will have threat detector automatically activated. So. There is something to be said there, but ultimately, not really a big fan of this one, to be quite honest. Unless I ended up getting that fourth times the charm and Vorpal weapon, like I said. So let's look at the next weapon, 7th Seraph Officer Revolver. So this one pains my soul, guys. If it was any other archetype, like maybe a 110, a 150, a 140, I would have loved this weapon. But because it's a 180, it's automatically not the best, in my opinion. So let's look at the perks, which I think are really cool. And there's one perk in this, in the, this, there's one perk in this weapon that actually saves this gun. So first let's look at threat detector, ambitious assassin, fourth times the charm, firmly planted, pulse monitor, and underdog for the first row. For the second row, it's gonna be feeding frenzy, imp, high impact reserves, multi kill clip, four pull weapon, time in the payload, and osmosis. So the perk rotation that I think is going to be the best for you is probably going to be Vorpal Weapon with anything on the first slot. Probably, honestly, Threat Detector, Ambitious Assassin probably, and then maybe f Firmly Planted. I think the one that I have is Pulse Monitor and Time Payload. No, it's Threat Detector and Time Payload. That's the one I have. And the reason I like this gun, the only reason I like this gun is because Time Payload actually saves the weapon for me in pvp you're gonna want time payload in pve you'll most likely still want time to payload maybe vorpal weapon if if feeding frenzy was on the first perk if it was in the first column then i would love it but unfortunately it's not and i think time payload is just so necessary for this weapon 180s are not the best weapons in the game right now one i i would much rather use a 110 not saying 110s are that much better but just 110s in general feel much better than 180s in my opinion and just hand cannons in general need a, a buff if it's not a 150 then it's not worth using 
aside from like 140s, 140s are still great, but against 150s, it's yeah, it's, it's hard to say. So, in my opinion, this gun is great if you use time payload, and even then, it's not that great, it's kind of inconsistent at times. If you're using it for PvE, then yeah, it's fun. It's a lot of fun, actually. But if you're using it for PvP, you're going to see a lot of inconsistencies with this. You're going to see a lot of things that should have connected that doesn't. That's the thing. The range in this is pretty... Oh, it's bad. So yeah, I don't have much to say about this one. This one actually kills my soul because when I first saw the weapon, I was like, that shit looks fire. And then when I started shooting, I was like, no. It's a 180. No, I got super sad. So the next weapon is going to be the 7th Serum CQC-12, which is the shotgun, which is arguably the best weapon in this season, in my opinion. And I love this gun a lot, mostly because of trench barrel. So let's talk about the rotation real quick. You can get slide shot, lead from gold, auto loading holster, and quick draw from the first column. From the second column, you can get vorpal weapon, trench barrel, snapshot sights, and shield assault. So let me tell you why I like this weapon. Lead from gold with trench barrel has probably got to be my new most favorite combination for PVE with a shotgun ever. I haven't liked trench barrel since the days of the Iculus shotgun. And it's not like it got a buff or anything. It's just that lead from gold has really increased the value of this weapon for me. And again, it's not a damage or reload perk. It's just a perk that helps you have more ammo. So if you guys don't know, Lead From Gold is picking up heavy ammo, also grants ammo to this weapon. That's amazing. So for an ex for a great example, I was doing uh, Escalation Protocol not too long ago because I wanted to get all the armor for my, my classes. Uh, on my Hunter, I didn't use it because that would be suicide. I don't have a healing or a bubble or any, of any sort. So me going up against the Escalation Protocol boss would literally me just signing my own death warrant. With my Titan, it was manageable because I had a bubble. With my Warlock, it was more manageable because I was healing. But with my Titan specifically, it was better because the bubble does not get affected by the ground slam. So you could just be go back into your bubble when he slams and then just go back out to do more damage. But what I love about this weapon is the fact that lead from gold with trench barrel, lead from gold, man, I just had ammo all the time, especially if you have like, I had anarchy at the time. So I had grenade, uh, what is it? Grenade scavenger on the one for the helmet. And then I had all the grenade perks active, which meant that I was getting extra heavy and extra heavy meant even more ammo for my shotgun i had heavy and ammo like special ammo just littered on the ground which meant i could be so like i was using my shotgun just to kill fucking gray gray bars dog i was killing minor bitches with this shotgun because i could not only that but because i have escape velocity with overflow it meant my magazine was always at 80 which meant I was just killing stuff. And my my escape velocity has Vorpal Weapon. So it was doing more damage to like yellow bars and shit. At least I think it does more damage against yellow bars. But I know it was doing more damage against like majors and bosses. So it was wild just to see me going this hard on just Escalation Protocol. I would love to see this build in higher end activities. But I do know that it would not work well because ultimately... I was getting my super a lot faster in escalation protocol than what you would do in other activities. So <sighs> unfortunately, I still think shotguns are super not viable because of just the fact that bosses have ground slams. There's just so much stuff that can kill you with you just being close to them. So as much as I love this rotation, it's still just not that viable in like high end activity. So. PvP, what would I do? Slide shot with snapshot sights or trench barrel. For PvP, actually, let me not say trench barrel, probably Vorpal weapon. So the reason I was trying to avoid Vorpal is because Vorpal does not one-shot kill supers. But I mean, at that point, it still does some damage. So at that point, yeah, use Vorpal and slide shot, Vorpal and quick draw. And I would even say 
auto loading holster and, holster and vorpal but ultimately quick draw and vorpal probably be the be the way for pvp for pve obviously lead from gold and trench barrel that's the way to go the amount of ammo i had was just overwhelming it was so amazing and the god roll that i'm looking for specifically for pve would be trench barrel lead from gold and assault mag and probably small bore that would be my god roll at least for pve for pvp ah, don't really have much to say i i do use it for pvp but it's just not that great for pvp in my opinion it's a lightweight frame so it's not like if it was an aggressive frame it'd probably be really good but unfortunately it's not so let's get on to the sidearm which is the seventh seraph csi2 which i actually like a lot let's look at the perk rotation before i start talking about it full auto trigger system demolitionist threat detector auto loading holster field prep and hip fire grip for the first row and for the second row it's going to be four pull weapon dragonfly surrounded elemental capacitor snapshot sights and zen moment so i actually like this weapon a lot i usually don't like i usually don't like light frame uh sidearms mostly because i like sidearms that do either like a burst of of damage or has fully auto on it so unfortunately or fortunately this weapon does have fully auto system with it so that's great but on this weapon specifically i actually don't mind it not having fully auto trigger system so for me i would be using like demolitionist with vorpal or demolitionist with dragonfly if you want to ask me like what would i be using for pve it'd probably be demolitionist with dragonfly or surrounded because i mean this is a sidearm you're going to be surrounded uh maybe vorpal weapons but honestly demolitionist with dragonfly would probably be the better choice just because if you do get that headshot with like a bunch of thrall everywhere you're gonna get your grenade like immediately so if you if you really wanted to be like weird you could you could probably do full auto trigger system with like vorpal weapon for pvp but for pvp it'd probably be like maybe honestly either full auto trigger system and threat detector for the first roll and then maybe snapshot sights or vorpal weapons honestly for this weapon pvp wise i probably wouldn't use it unless it was like demolitionist and either surrounded or dragonfly for my for my warlock because my warlock has the netherrack sin build that i have so aside from that i like this weapon a lot it's one of my favorite sidearms <clears throat> for pve but for pvp i use other sidearms like burst fire sidearms but it's not bad it's just that's just my prefer personal preference so that's pretty much it i could talk more about this weapon but i'd just be saying the same thing ultimately i love the weapon i love how it shoots i love how it feels and the perk rotations are pretty good i think uh i think if it had full auto trigger system with demolitionist i think that would be a lot better for me but ultimately i can't choose that so yeah demolitionist and dragonfly would probably be the best one for you and let's get on to the next weapon, which is going to be 7th Seraph VY7, which is an SMG with horrible stats, or not horrible stats, horrible perks. Let's look at this real quick. Firmly planted, ambitious assassin, fourth times the charm, and pulse monitor for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be feeding frenzy, vorpal weapons, dragonfly, and elemental capacitor. I hate this. I hate, I hate all of this. I love this SMG. Every aspect of this SMG I love. I love its perks, or I'm sorry, I love its uh, stats. I love the way it looks. I love the way it shoots, the way it feels. Everything about the gun, aside from the magazine capacity, I love. The magazine capacity is pretty weak. If it was like a 34 or 35, I think it would have been better. The perks are atrocious, they're bad. Like, first row, what would you use? Firmly planted on a fucking SMG, gross. I would probably like maybe use fourth times the charm or pulse monitor at this point. And for the second row, feeding frenzy or vorpal weapon. It's just, it's such a weird choice for this weapon because I love this gun. The, the SMG I have is actually masterwork. Like I like this weapon. It's just that it's it's bad it's just so 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 many bad perks on it like if maybe feeding frenzy and vorpal weapon you can choose then yeah i probably could be like that's eh, fine it's usable i'm not saying it's not usable it's just it 
Okay, so the one that I have master worked is Pulse Monitor and Feeding Frenzy. This one I use just to fuck around when I'm doing PvE. Nothing high end. And I it's fun. I have I have a backup mag on it. And you know how many bullets I get with that? Three. That means I have 30 bullets on this SMG. On an SMG, 30 is not much to me. 40 is like standard for me. 40 is like the where I feel confident that I can take out multiple enemies. 30 is just like I can take down a few enemies in PvE and in PvP, I have to hit all my shots. Like a perfect example is like I have a Callus Mini Tool that has Feeding Frenzy and Moving Target, but this one has 41 bullets. This one in PvP slaps. I love it. It's great. It's, it never fails me. This one, this SMG, 7th Seraph, is just, I have to hit every shot to make sure that guy goes down. <laughs> Ugh, excuse me. Like, Ambitious Assassin I thought about, but then it's just like, ah, uh, Ambitious Assassin sounds nice in theory, but this would only get, be good for PvE. For PvP, I barely kill one. If another enemy is low, two enemies, it's... This SMG to me is the most heartbreaking of this whole like DLC or this whole season, to be quite honest. Yeah, the 180 hand cannon was heartbreaking, but SMGs for me, I love SMGs. I have a collection of SMGs that I just use on the, on the regular. I love SMGs. They're they're a lot of fun. They they're a lot more of my playstyle, where which is like hit hard, go in fast. I'm very much into the go in like fast as fuck and then just kill everything. And SMGs help me do that. This SMG is pathetic and that's not even saying much considering there's other SMGs that are as bad as this one, but it just sucks to have like a new weapon. And this is this is why I don't like the idea of sunsetting because if this is the list of weapons that we're gonna be getting from now on, I don't want sunsetting. I'd rather have the same old weapons that I'm using because at least I know, hey, those weapons don't disappoint me. This Callus Mini tool doesn't disappoint me, but this SMG that we got this season disappoints me to no end. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. The last one we're gonna be looking at is the Seven Seraph Saw, which is the legendary machine gun. And the perk rotation on this is actually pretty nutty, if you wanna ask me. So let's talk about it. First one's gonna be Clown Cartridge, Auto Loading Holster, Field Prep, Zen Moment, and Grave Robber. And for the second row, it's gonna be Four Bolt Weapon, Firing Line, Elemental Capacitor, Opening Shot, Mulligan, and Disruption Break. So automatically, if you ask me, Tony, what's the PvP role, I would not use this. I think the range is bad on this one. I'm not gonna lie. You're better off using other weapons for PvP. And let's be real, don't use an LMG. It's like, at least not this one. For PvE, this is where it slaps. So you could go either Clown Cartridge, Auto Loading Holster, or Field Prep, and then Vorpal Weapon or Firing Line. I have Clown Cartridge and Vorpal Weapon, which is nice if you're a lone wolf. If you have friends to play this with, maybe Clown Cartridge and Firing Line or Field Prep and Firing Line. I can see a debate for even Auto Loading Holster being better. Totally fine with that, but just know that with Clown Cartridge, you have a chance of getting like stupid amounts of ammo on this, especially when the base ammo is 43 on this and you can increase it even more. Like just to give you an example, my seventh Seraph Saw, like I said, has a uh, Clown Cartridge and Vorpal Weapon, but I slapped on a backup mag on it and it has 56 bullets on that. So it can reach up to 86 or 87 bullets on this weapon. 87 on an LMG with four for warp weapon guys. That's pretty wild and that's and I didn't even get like a, a mag magazine uh, option. I have Fucking armor piercing rounds and ricochet rounds. So if I had like I don't know extended mag pended mag flared magwell something like that then I this would probably be even higher so me personally, if I'm if I'm doing solo play, which is like 90% of what I do, then Vor Vorpal Weapon with Clown Cartridge is probably gonna be the, the, the play. If you're playing with teammates, then Firing Line and Vorpal Weapon could be the play. 
But if you want more ammo reserves, field prep all the way. You get the faster reload, slow, and ready speed when you're crouched. And you don't have to be crouched all the time. You can just crouch and do the th reload and then just walk. It's not that hard. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for all the weapons. I, like I said, if these are the type of weapons that are, we're going to be expecting season after season when sunsetting becomes a thing, it's going to be disappointing because if you guys don't have, didn't notice, only maybe one of these is good in PvP. And that's that I don't even think it's that good, which is a shotgun. I think the shotgun's fine in PvP. It's not amazing, but mostly because it's not a aggressive frame. The hand cannon uh, performs poorly in, in uh, PvP. You need you need a specific perk to make it good, and even then it's inconsistent. The seven serif auto rifle is not the best in my opinion, but it's fun. The SMG is laughably and depressingly bad with the perk rotations. Everything else is fine, and the LMG is good, but it's an LMG, so, okay. Me personally, this season, aside from the shotgun and maybe the LMG, I think these weapons are okay. They're a lot better than Season of the Undying, considering Season of the, of the Undying only had one truly good weapon. And then Season of Dawn probably holds the strongest weapons out of all of them. Season of Dawn had so much powerful weapons that people still use to this day. I still use to this day because it's just all around powerful. You got the breach light that had a lot of good rotations. I have one that has demolitionist and osmosis. You have steel feather repeater that has swashbuckler and subsistence subsistence for my titan for my other classes. It's like feeding frenzy a multi kill clip. You have the gallant charge that has demolitionist and like rampage, which is great. You have so many options from that season. Trophy Hunter. You have so many better options from last season to this season. This season is just so disappointing in my eyes. We could have seen a really cool sniper rifle for the Seven Seraph models, which would have been dope. But unfortunately, we didn't get that. And if you're going to tell me, oh, but we do have a weapon, for a, sh a sniper rifle in the Warmind DLC. It's like, yeah, but we also did get a sh another shotgun. So that argument's kind of not good. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the weapons themselves. Do you guys have a favorite? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media out links, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. I will probably do some more of these videos because I really do like making them. And I do see a lot of people ask me my opinions on certain weapons and whatnot. So I will see you guys later.